Hey, hey, welcome to Healer 10 Day Challenge. Today is day eight and I'm your girl, L. Clark, and we are almost at the 10 day mark. I pray that you are all having a blessed day and I pray that you have been getting something out of this 10 day challenge. Now, I know for the most part, everyone already knows what the Healer 10 Day Challenge is all about. And so I'm not going to really belabor over that, but um, Healer is a program designed for women who are ready to walk boldly in their assignment but I've been hindered by past hurt. And so before we get into our um, what we're going to talk about today, let me remind you of the tools you're going to need. You're going to need your journal or handy dandy notebook, a pen and a pillow. Now, you know, we always take a screen break before we get into what we came for today. And so, you know, when we scream, we're just releasing frustrations in a way that is loud and it doesn't hurt anyone. And so I want you guys to find, you know, a quiet place. I don't know if you're in your car, if you're at work, uh, wherever you may be. I just want you to find a place in an area where you can release your frustrations out. And so this is what this is about. It's all about releasing these things out of us because the, every time we're leaving the offense, the anger, the bitterness, the, the you know, leaving all of these toxic um, emotions, they what they do on the inside of us is they kill us daily they break our spirits and they also affect our bodies and this is why a lot of people have a lot of different sicknesses and ailments in their body is simply because of unreleased stress or unresolved issues that they have in their lives so we don't want to be keeping anything in 2020 we don't want to keep we want to be able to release everything out of us so that we'll begin to heal so that we'll be able to get to the el elevated place that god has for us and so i want you guys to take a few moments just to scream it out just shout it out dance it out stomp it out clap it out laugh it out whatever you have to do just get it out and so um you guys know that this 10 day challenge is 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 a part of a bigger program and it's a 10 week program and in that program we talk about forgiveness faith dreams family and so much more and so if you've been enjoying this 10 day challenge listen you've got to sign up for the 10 week program listen queens you are going to experience a level of peace and deliverance like you've never seen before and so if you're interested because i only want people that are serious about their healing listen i had to be i really had to be disciplined with my healing and so I only want to work with people that are that are that are passionate about living the progressive and the elevated life that God has for us. And so if that's you, email me at hello at IamQueenMagazine.com. That's hello at IamQueenMagazine.com so that we may get started. And so today is day eight, everybody. It's day eight. And today we're talking about the love. That's the magic word today. That's the key word today. The key word today is love. Listen, love died on the cross. The very definition of God is love. And it was because of his love for us that he was able to grant such a great sacrifice. Love is the cure to hate. Love is the cure for crime. Love is the cure for everything that we need. Let me just make this correction right here. I have loved died at the cross. Let me just, let me just, good thing this is a working, a working session. Let me just do that right now. And yeah, just to caveat, I do, I created this in Canva. If you guys were interested, I created this in Canva and yeah, just wanted to make that correction. And so, yeah, so love died on the cross. The very definition of love, it, the very definition of God is love. And it was because of his love for us that he was able to grant such a great sacrifice. Love is the cure to hate. Love is the cure for crime. Love is the cure for everything that we need. And Jesus demonstrated that on the cross because he took everything there and it was his love that proves love covers a multitude of sins. Love is sacrifice. In order for us to forgive, in order for us to move forward in victory, we must have love. The Bible declares that, listen, the greatest commandment is to love the God, with, to, to love the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and to love your neighbor as you love yourself. And so the first step is loving God. And the second step is loving others, and especially those who would have harmed us, or especially those who would have used us and mistreated us. That's where the test of your walk with Christ. That is where the test of your humanity takes place. 
And so we have to learn how to love God's way. And the way that we're able to learn how to love God's way is by studying his word. Study, study the stories on Jesus. Study the books that, that, that talks about his life and see how he showed love. After you would have done that, pray. Pray. And ask God to give you a new revelation about love. There are so many different definitions about what love is today. But we want to learn how to love God's way because that's perfect love. And we want we want our lives to be, we want to live a life that is pleasing to God. We want to live a life that is pleasing to our families. And we want to live a life where we grow, where we're constantly growing so that we can constantly be able to pour out to others and be able to help others who may find themselves in a difficult, difficult position, whether financially, mentally, mentally or spiritually. And so this is our assignment for today. Ask God to give you a revelation about love and meditate on this scripture. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers a multitude of sins. First Peter chapter four, verse eight. I want you guys to meditate on that. And so we are at the end of day eight, everybody. It's day eight. I can't believe that we're almost done with this challenge. I've been having so much fun. I pray that you all were having fun too. But until next time, don't you ever forget to dream, inspire, and to grow. Bye.